Hello, this is John Griffin with WCI Consulting, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a schedule within TIBCO Spotfire. As you can see on my screen now, I'm logged into the web player version of TIBCO Spotfire. Depending on your security role and your status will depend on if you have this tools option and the diagnostics option and scheduling updates option. For this instance, I have the administrator set up, so I do have these options here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through what setting up a schedule looks like and how to refresh that schedule, and then go into the diagnostics here and walk you through how you can see if that schedule is loading and so on. So to get started, what I'm going to do is you will log into the web player version of TIBCO Spotfire. You'll click on Tools schedule updates and what this is going to do is it's going to show you all of your different schedules what this is doing is this is refreshing the dashboard that's out there with the newest data and you can set this up on that particular schedule so as you can see here's all my current schedules it's going to give you your path to the actual schedule and then it's going to give you the when it's updated so which the time and the date it's going to give you the option to reload and remove the schedule. So to set up a new one, what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to Add Analysis File. We're going to want to go to the folder path of the dashboard you're wanting to schedule. And then you're going to actually click on the dashboard itself. Okay, so as you can see with this message right here, I currently already have this schedule set up. So what I'm going to want to do is go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and delete the schedule so y'all can see that. And then what I'll do from there is uh, set up a brand new one. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it here. Then I'm going to go to the Add Analysis file. I'm going to go to that dashboard. And this is what your typical schedule is going to look like. If you want it to automatically reschedule, you'll go ahead and click on Automatic. You're going to click on the time here that you want it to go. So we're going to go ahead and go 7 and 10 p.m. We're going to want to do it Saturday and Sunday as well. And then you click Save. Now from here, you're going to actually see that it is loaded at the bottom now. You can go ahead and wait for these times to run, or you can go ahead and run it as of right now on the reload here. And then what you'll want to do is from here, you can you can check out the diagnostics of this. So if you go back to the web player here, you can click on tools, diagnostics. And what this does is this gives you it gives you your server information. As you can see, it'll give us our web server, web application, loaded assemblies, the site. Um, and this is all background information. So this is all what's happening on the back end when it comes down to loading these dashboards. But schedule updates is the main one you're going to want to click on here. And then what you can do is you can see, you can scroll down, you can see that uh, these are updated. You can see this one's currently loading right now, the one we just added in here. And it'll give you the latest update time and the specifics of that dashboard being loaded. But other than that, it's plain and simple to load this schedule for a dashboard. And that's going to be it. Thank you.